girl Karma Kush, and on this episode of Kush and Karma, <laughs> we have double teams today. I have two of the funniest guys coming out of the DMV, Maryland to be exact. I got APAC and Davey Ruffin on the show. Shit. <laughs> Let me get in. Yes, I got the cut. Lisa, tune in as we discuss how they got their start and how they get their finish. <laughs> hey, guys! How you doing? I'm like fanning out, though. Like, I'm real loud to just fanning out. How you like, doing, Miles? Sexy one time. Gotta get sexy one time. You gotta have my fucking joker. You feel that cushion back here, nigga? You gotta be sexy. It's red too. Yes. Shit. Red everything. Nails here. That's what. That's my favorite color. So that's what we giving today. Blue gang. Blue gang. Blue gang. I don't know. No, let me not do that. I don't do that. I don't. I ain't no blicky pull up with it. I'm not doing that. But thank you guys. Y'all busy. Y'all got shit to do. You told me put me on the time frame. You was late to the threesome though. You can't be. You be, you be showing up. A girl off you a threesome. You showing up late. He was parking. I was here. You see? I'm early I was to the at the building at six. Oh, okay. <laughs> My shirt already off, baby. And I'm double parking. Oh. I double park for you. You double for the, for the threesome. For the threesome. Okay. Well, double park. Like that's what you wanted. <laughs> double parallel that's park. That motherfucker sideways. That's what. You, oh. Hey, that's what you wanted. Yeah. Oh, they do the secret. Oh, he wanted. That's exclusive. <laughs> Don't get up down now. Well, what's up with you? The status of how you feeling? Yeah, shit. I was early. I'm off. You, you was early. You a quick shooter? Nah, nah. I, I, I get to the parties quick. That's all. I'm trying to be first. <laughs> Try, oh, you, to, you want to be first See one? See my face first, baby. I was serious. You, know what I'm saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you guys already got me laughing. But before we get all into the jokes and the funny, how did you guys get your fucking start? Like, how did you know you were... You were I'm funny. Like, was it just people telling you? Did you, like, when did you know comedy was gonna be your thing? I mean, I've always been a goofy ass person, but I think Vine is is what kind of brought out the fact of pursuing comedy or you know pursuing entertainment. I see people doing Vines, and I just want to try it. I'm just like, if I can make myself laugh on these videos, I'm sure everybody else can laugh. So, started doing Vines. Facts. From mine, I started doing stand up. You know, made the white people laugh. So I'm like, hold up, that might be a problem. You can make the white people laugh. Right, you can go into the, that, that crowd, that audience, that definitely, because they're hard to get. Yeah, it is. It definitely, that was my first stand up, like four years ago. Big hunt, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Mm hmm. And you, how'd you get your stuff? Well, shit, I ain't even old, job. I started on Instagram. Okay. October last year. Shut the fuck up. The bullshit. Oh wow. Pat my line, bruh. Shit, October last year. 2017. Like, really Hold on, slip. Cause <laughs> my first show was December at the motherfucking uh Sandoval's job. You doing this shit longer than that though, bruh? No, bruh. Alright, nah. The Instagram shit. Oh, 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 uh, yeah, I've been doing Instagram shit for a little minute now. Not too long, but like a year and some change. But I've been doing stand up for a couple months. You know, the stand up, I've been doing that for since like December, so. Uh, but I'm tough though. I'm tough though. But I got my IG John off. Yeah. Like, I, 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 I got the IG just off of just being funny for real, for real. I came out the cut, to be honest with you. Like, I came out the cut, started doing it, then I linked up with Papa now. And shit. We start going from there, then I just started getting followers and followers, and they just started fucking with me. But I've been funny since elementary school, though. Know? Like, I've been joining on teachers. Niggas get suspended for fight. I get suspended for joining. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, somebody that I work with knows you, and they eat, I eat that the exact same story about you. He said, we used to be on the school bus together, and then get me kicked off, because this nigga used to be joining, and I'd be slicing or laughing. And I think I know what laugh, you're talking about. It's, like, really distinctive, so Bye. it's like... Yeah, so Mikey. Mikey, yeah. Mikey. And I didn't even know he talked I didn't know you knew Mikey, but so, I used to get him put off all the time. Yep. And I was like, you know Davey Ruffin? Oh my god. Like I'm I'm a fa- when I say I'm a legit a fan of both of y'all, it's like it's I ridiculous. appreciate that though. And comedy's my favorite genre of like movies and things, so to have two of what I feel are like 
the DMV's Kings of Comedy, the upcoming Kings of Comedy from this area, I'm like honored to get you all at your start. Um, because I see great things for you all and y'all's future. But let's talk about all this. So I saw an interview where you said that um his name? Bernie Mac is a huge inspiration, which okay. is it's my favorite comedian. So a, a lot of people that don't like my comedy. That's why. You know what I'm saying? I grew up watching the ignorant shit. So. What were you like watching him? Is just his stand ups? You doing like that comedy jam? Like, cause it's odd. I mean, you're you're young, and he's a comedian from you know like the early '90s and yeah. stuff like that. So, did you get uh, you know find him on the Bernie Mac show? Like, how did you get into really like honing in and knowing that Bernie Mac was your favorite comedian? Well. I saw Kings of Comedy at a young age. I probably said we should show okay. Shane. But, um, you know, the Bernie Mac show was definitely a big leap. You know what I'm saying? And then when I really listened to comedy and watched comedy, Bernie Mac was the one person. I ain't gonna say the one person, but just that. He just had that, that swag, that style that just made me laugh the most. You know what I'm saying? And, and it just it came down to the realization. Like, Okay. He, he say the shit that my foot is scared to say. Right. And that's quoted by him, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I, that's the shit I live by. I'm gonna say what y'all scared, what niggas are scared to say, you know what I'm saying? What you think might be offensive. I don't give a fuck what's offensive. You know? Of course I ain't gonna go overboard and talk about no dead folks, you know what I'm saying? I really don't like making fun of retarded children. Okay. But, you know, certain shit is humor every, in everything. And you both have like a like a, a no holds barred say what people feel or are scared to say type of approach. Where did you gain your inspiration or who is your favorite comedian? But that's what's what's crazy is that's my mind like shit because Money Mac? That's my favorite comedian. Oh wow. Well the, I mean it's just barred. I mean when it comes to facts Shawty gonna come, like he gonna tell you what he gonna, he gonna tell you what it is, like him, I mean, I don't look up, but I started wanting to do, I started really joning, like, when I saw Eddie Murphy, you know what I'm saying, like, that, that, that red, that red whole little suit jump, mm -hmm. he was funny as shit, but he black as shit, he looked like a black man for throwing that on with a whole red jump. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's who I really looked up to though. But Bernie Mac, because Bernie Mac is real nice who I base my comedy on. Because I mean, I don't say, I, I literally say the shit that people say in conversations. Like the shit you had, you that you would sit right here and talk about, oh yeah, what do we do? I'm going to say that shit on the gram. I want everybody to know, I'm going to say it in public. I'm like, the way I act on the gram is the way I act in public. Like, you guys, bro, this is how I really am in, no, in, in real life. No, no switching off, no switch. I go from here to here and back to here. Like, this is me. And what's good about that is, like, having niggas like this around, it take pressure off, off me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> for real, because it's, now it's like I don't have to, I mean, everybody link up. Right. I can be fucking quiet. Right, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They be going to make them laugh. We be gonna make, somebody going to make them laugh. I right. might say something, but I don't have to be that. You know what I'm saying? That. You don't have to be the face all the time. Yeah, yeah. like. <laughs> how did you all come up with that collective? Because I, I wanted to tap into that because it's not, I mean, you all are separate in what you all do. But there is like a kind of a Kings of Comedy collective you all have growing. Like where it's all, we see skits where you all are working <coughs> together. And by you all, I mean like Goofies. E funny down, I keep um with some of the other six milli. Six million. So like how did you all form this comedic collective? As um, I like to call just, it. To be honest, it, we all it, know we talented, so why not just work together? I mean because yeah. well it's funny, I mean I It kinda like to be honest, like comedians weren't really linking for real. Bob. And and me and Goofy did a skit. Mm -hmm. And people was like, oh shit, these niggas doing skits, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, everybody just started linking <laughs> slowly but surely, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, alright, Pat, I see y'all link with old dog. Well, the 
some shit I'm old, you know what I'm saying? Some shit I'm old, though. They, they was geeking for that, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, <coughs> everybody just started linking slowly. And I still haven't worked with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And I don't know why they're taking this type of disrespect. I just be trying to, I, I really look at comedy and really look at niggas' videos and be like, hmm. Is this, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas is is, 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 is is funny, don't get me wrong, but some niggas be just like full of some shit. Okay. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's bad. But, so you're really, so you, because you're serious about your career, you're definitely, you know, structuring it where who you're working with has to align with what. Yeah, makes that's sense why I like, I'm, I'm comfortable with the niggas I work with now. And not saying I wouldn't, of course, I'm going to work with. Mm -hmm. But just like, it's like a basketball team, you know what I'm saying? We we are, we on the same team, we hooping together. Yeah, we know other, other NBA stars. We might ball with them a few times and another jump or some cool shit, but at the end of the day, it's my team, you know what I'm saying? It's, right, the, team, okay. it's the team I'm playing for. Okay. It's the team I'm trying to get yeah. to the championship, you know? Yeah. Not saying anybody's competition, but it's like, you know, it's all from the games, but when we get on that court, and the court being comedy, you know, Instagram, Twitter, the stage, that's the court. <coughs> when we get on that court, nigga, it's game time. So I need my team. And we gonna ball out until somebody fucking beats us. Facts. So being a part of something like that, the comedic collective is, you know, the term we're gonna use for them. Um, how do you feel that it ha it assists or helps what you're doing or your skits or your career or even just your confidence or your passion? Like, do you feel like you gained a brotherhood, people who can relate to, I guess, what you go? I don't know what comp comedians go through. I know there's trolls and stuff like that. But what do you feel is essential that it has added to be a part of, you know, that little circle? I mean. The, it, it's it's no just be like everybody says pros and cons, but to be honest, it's, it's no cons. Like we we do skits. See, I wasn't doing skits. I was just doing straight up facts, like rats. Right. So they brought me into the skit world. Okay. Like, so I wasn't really doing skits. I mean, I can do them. I just wasn't doing them because I didn't really. That wasn't. I was one minded. Like I, I'm just okay. doing rats and I'm do stand up. But then they brought me into the. The skit world, I mean, you know, my character, the, the the type of character I am, basically, we all went, went once I once I came together with them, it's like it just became something. We don't, we it's a team now. We ain't really gotta look for no volumes. We just locked, like locked in. It's like we got a bench and all that. Like it's like a real like <laughs> like <laughs> y'all understand that we got star five. We got a little five on the bench and all that. Like it's a real life situation. Like. And it's most dudes like in the DMV, the rappers don't want to work together. They beef. Right, that's what I was. I find this unique that you all work so well together. I haven't seen anything like that as it transcends to other genres of creativity or artistry, music, clothing, anything. It's like a whole lot of division and separation, and like I don't, you know, I'm better than. Like you all to see some of all of you all are forces in your own right and you all are funny and you could have that you know bravado or that attitude like i don't want to like what the fuck i don't need him i'm funny i don't need to be in this group of niggas and all of that it'll take away this nigga is funnier than me and now i feel it like to see how well you all work together like i see y'all out like it's not even only just doing the work like i, I run into y'all out party you yeah. know what i'm saying it's like a real live like be meant for real. That's what's funny. People think it's just for the gram. Like people be no, like, no, I, I, I legit see like, these niggas out. Like we, we, we call each chat other. We group every, chat every day. day. Straight. Like I hear, we don't. We hear from each other every day. They not like off no. Like yeah, we from different sides of the town. Like I be on the south side. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Merlin. I'm from Oxford, Merlin. But I be on the south side. You know what I mean? I be, I be early with it. Be honest. But that's why I be out on the south side. Bro, I be out copping the ice. They be where they be at. You know what I'm saying? So, it's it ain't that we. We ain't gotta be together every day because we see, we see each other every day. I mean, we talk to each other every day. We ain't gotta see each other every day. So when we link up, we link up, and when we link up, we do that. And most of the time, we always linking up. And just now, summer not here yet. We all working business right now. We all gotta get stuff together. Like people like, yeah, I ain't seen y'all out in a minute. Cause I mean, 
We done done everything. We done done every club. We done crushed every scene. Like, now it's time to run up a bag so when the summer get, it's, it's, it's going to be over with. Like, it's gonna be, like we, we monopolizing right now. Like, so you do music too? Oh yeah, I mean, I got, I got, definitely got some bars, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's hard to like, do to, you see, niggas like DC Young Fly, they really jump into the music now because they establish following us, so they, they can play around with it, but me, it's, you know, you gotta be smart, you can't just jump right into some music shit, jump right back in the comedy, for how you fuck people is. Right. But in a sense, you're gaining mixed fans, but it's just like, some fans might be all right, but I'll be here for you when you don't see the comedy. And vice versa. So you don't want to isolate. Yeah, you don't want to damage what you made. Okay. So it's just like, you know. Because I, I was surprised when I heard you eat. I said, what the fuck is going Yeah, I, de- I love making music. Like, I love music. That's, that's <coughs> one of my number one loves. You know what I'm saying? Especially cool, chill ass. Cool music, like it ain't all that. You know what I'm saying? I got that Draco in there. I don't want no. I don't like rapping like that. I mean, I can, but it's cool that you know. What's that, bro? Shit, I mean, I, I couldn't always so rap though, but it's just like when you sit down and really like just just sit to your think to yourself like bars and just it's all about teaching yourself that rap shit. I talk myself. So, but comedy will always be your passion. Yeah, music is a passion too, though. That's the, that's the whole thing. So it's just like. It's like an even kill of passion, or it's just like passion is passion and passion is passion. I can make a hit record. Facts. <laughs> we on. Like yeah, it's, it's pretty much I have to get my foot in the door, but it's just like you know, really how I want in real life. I've been I've been thinking about this for. Uh, some time now, but you know, finding the right beat, you know, just the right flow, and then the cold kill that making it is having that video. Niggas paying for these fifty dollar videos, and then no wonder your shit ain't booming because you you not you no quality your shit. Yeah, you shit skinny, and you rapping about drugs and guns twenty four seven like there ain't no shit you can party to. That's everybody though. Ain't no shit the whole world can. Party too, you know what I'm saying? But when you just rapping about fun shit, money, cars, clothes, uh, beautiful females, taking vacations right over a chill ass rock trap beat, cranking ass music video, you good. And then have some music to come behind that, you good. That's that's the key. That's it. That's the key. I'm trying to tell you that I know. I just ain't I just ain't I just ain't sit down and put a game plan together. That's definitely so, acting. Oh, yeah. Jay! <laughs> Let me tell you something, all right? <laughs> I'm gonna get that bag and I'm gonna get that money. I'm not gonna do a damn thing about it, all right? Okay? <laughs> you all want, I would assume, but I don't like to, that you all would like to do movies or transition into, because I saw you went out to LA. I'm assuming you wanna do movies and yeah, things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is that what you're gearing? I mean, like, I want to, what is your plan? So is it like, you're going to do stand-up and then movies? You want to do music? Like, I'm trying to see, like, how do you have the vision of what it is, essentially, that you, both of you all are trying to do? I want to blend, like, I want to blend both. Like, I, Bernie can go from, like, Bernie Sid, Steve Harvey's and stuff like that. Like, I want, it ain't even, trans. It, it's transitioning, but it ain't like, how somebody got to go from rap to like pop i mean okay so like eddie murphy does just movies now he doesn't right. really do stand up anymore whereas he started out in stand up you know what i'm saying right. and then you have like the kevin hart that'll do a stand up do movies or stuff like that so and then you had have um like the dave chappelle's that had his show and then he just went back to stand. so it's like i just wanted to know how do you really feel I'm like you want to like, have like a show like, like a I sitcom get, yeah if i can get like a sitcom okay i'd be straight because I mean, a movie's fine. I, if I can get a movie too, I don't mind that. But I'm more of a. I got so much shit to talk about. I would need. Some, I would want a show. Like I would okay. want some shit like episode 99 shit. Okay. Like, I would okay. Want, okay. I, I want to. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm but, watching 
the Davey Ruffin show. Because they only give me a minute on Instagram. Y'all don't understand. Papa never tell you. I, I real life be talking all Bob. day, bro. Like, Bob. I got shit to talk about. Like, <laughs> listen, bro. Like, look. Like, I don't stop talking. Like, like. Only way I stop talking, you'll know if I'm mad. I ain't got nothing to say. That's that's the only like that's only the telltale sign. Oh, this nigga. You ain't even gotta guess it. Okay. Since I've been here, I ain't stopped talking. I've been talking to them. I come over here, get. I'm ready to get in the bed and talk. I'm ready to talk after this. <laughs> I got a show after this. As soon as we leave the fuck in, I'm ready to talk. As soon as I leave that motherfucker, it just that's what I like to do. So like, if I was to get a show, that'd be fine. But stand up oh. comedy is what I really love to do. Like, okay. I like to like. I, I like the attention. Like some people don't like that attention. I like being looked at and like be geeking. Like I look right back at you and be making you laugh. Like you like. <laughs> Like, I be geeking. I'm sorry, that's what they call it. I be geeking. And what would you, like, what's your... I mean, me. I'm, I'm all in mean, whatever. Like, movies, TV shows, stand-up. Okay. Hey, you need money. Oh, yeah, that's where I'm at with it. Wherever but the nah, bag. Don't, don't, don't get too focused on the money and lose yourself. With all jokes fat, fast. Fat. Just but I do I, need my bag, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do need that. Yeah, that's fact. <laughs> I'm with all that shit, you know what I'm saying? If I get a TV show, like, I ain't gonna lie. I was supposed to be on motherfucking, what's that TV show? Some shit, whatever TV show Issa Rae got. Um, I was supposed to be on that one. Insecure. I ain't make the flight. Yeah, Insecure. But I ain't make the flight, you know what I'm saying? And I ain't know they was filming in LA and all that shit. Like, opportunities like that. Wow. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not bad. You know I mean, but still, that's like, an, that would have been an amazing opportunity. Yeah, it most definitely. But, you know, but just like any opportunity I can get to, I don't give a fuck if it's a YouTube drink. Like, even if I'm not getting paid, it's just like, I'm trying to work. Yeah. As long as it's official, legit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to work. I ain't trying to keep doing, hey, fool, you trying to do a skit in my video? Mm. No. I'm tired of doing that shit, even though it's quick money, but. You know what I'm saying? That ain't really, it's not helping. Right. But I want to get the, the, that TV show experience, that movie experience, so I can be around that, see the set, learn, grow, networking relationships, you know what I'm saying? Just <coughs> put all that shit out. Are you all taking any type of, like, acting classes? Fuck no, baby. So, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily feel that you need it, I don't know. I haven't really seen, like, well, I feel like what you do every day on Instagram is, not really acting because it's you, but it can come off like you. It it doesn't look bad, so I guess yeah. it can be in a movie. It's funny, you know what I mean. So, so I guess you don't really need the coaching, but how I feel about the acting and like, you know, like the improv comedy classes, it's just like how can you really teach someone how to be funny? Yeah, you supposed to be born with that shit. I don't think you can shit. really teach it's that. Natural. You know what I'm saying? Like some people might feel like they've been taught at a comedy class and this, right. that, and the third, like. No, I don't want to go. I don't. What do you want to tell me? Okay. I whatever I need to work on, I need to work on within myself. I don't need nobody telling me like, hey, make this facial expression. Hey, say this that. Let me get. I'ma do me. You know what I'm saying? Acting classes. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I still. I know what this shit. I need to do. But I don't want to take no classes. I'm not about to take classes. Teach me something I already know. Yeah, it's just like I. I just, you gotta work it comes with style. I just, you gotta just do more act. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's like Take shooting jump class. shots. You get better if you shoot enough of uh, Yeah. <laughs> no you can't go shit. to no shooting Too class. Shit. Shit. <laughs> and it lasts for like <laughs> a week. And now you think you Steph Curry. Wow. Motherfucker, no. Cause no. You know, no. Like you no. gotta, you gotta, you, you gotta get out there and do what you gotta do to get better. How much has been funny? How much pussy have you got for being? Oh, funny? oh, that's facts. I ain't gonna hold you. I'd have been lagging, cause I ain't gonna. I I I I only been single for a month and a half. A month and a half, and you been lagging since then. A month and a half. I've been cold, hoeing. Not super hoeing like Monday through Friday. But let's try, let's, let's try like Friday, Saturday, maybe Sunday if the leg is appropriate. Mm. But, <clears throat> before that, I was an honest nigga. But now, just on the bride. On the bride. On the bride. 
Tu mamá trae. Go get tested. <laughs> Fuck they talking about. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm HIV negative, nigga. Facts. That's how much ass I've got. And that, and that tells you that. Like my man just said, go get tested. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I got Crohn's, so I get tested all the time. I have no choice. HIV negative, baby. But that's a big. That's a. When you see that paperwork. Makes you smile, baby. So legging is on. <laughs> but Pat, I'm, I'm he ain't got time for all that. He's a good man. He don't do nothing like that. Currently, I ask some stuff like that. Like you saying too? It's, it's complicated. <laughs> it's, a, it's a situation. Just say that. <laughs> I don't have no problem saying. It. You know, yeah, fast. Just like we're not. We were together. We broke up. I'm not ready for a relationship. But I told you know, of course I've still been dealing with her because at the end of the day, <laughs> that's the only female. Why you mad? <laughs> Why I love you? Pat, bro. That's my man. I love him. Because at the end of the day, that's that the only shit female real. That's that's going that's staying down. We're gonna hold it down, saying. facts. And I'm gonna be honest and tell you I'm not ready. I gotta do as a man for you, you know what I'm saying? I'm still keeping happy. Just because I'm not ready doesn't mean that I can't make you happy. That's how I carry it. Just because I'm not ready to put that label on you. People ask you, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's good man. That's how I carry it too. Yeah. That's how you gotta carry it. I'm waking the gun. I'm awful. Bang, bang. I don't know why you asked, fellas, that even if niggas was from shooters, you would never know. Nah, I'm, you find the shit. I'm the most honest. Niggas don't you be, get shot. Nigga, yeah, me. Till nigga hit, let the gun off. Nah. Nigga, they gonna be like, yeah, I'm a quick shooter. Fuck that, man. <laughs> nah, nigga, nah, fuck no. I mean, I shoot slow. Yeah. I might, not even, I might not even whip it all the way out. You never know. You see what I'm saying? He's talking about quick shoot. I, I might not have to whip the gun out. I ain't not. You might can put the pole down and go for a little minute. But go ahead. You got it, you. Have a good minute. That wow. smile is so infectious. Thank Aww. you. I thought somebody would think it was sexy one day. It took a long time, because from, from about kindergarten to now, <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucked up situation. <laughs> Nobody told it was nice. Just my baby mama. Just your baby mama. A couple of other stragglers that, that made it on through. But other than that, oh. <laughs> they weren't there. They gonna hold you. Both of you are fathers. Yes. You have a boy too, right? Two young men. You have a boy. Yeah, my boy is seven. Two. So you fresh in. You got the terrible twos right now. Mm-hmm. You fresh off, hey, you off the box. And a good and a good stride right I'm now. In mellow, in I'm, good in, stride. I'm in the whip ass mellow stage. I can really whip ass. You mm -hmm. know when to go to the bathroom and all that, you still like you can pull the covers yeah, in. Yeah, the pull up. Or, you can pull up, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. How frustrating is that? Is put the potty training phase. I have a lot of patience with myself. Okay. So So it's just like, and I don't really, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Screaming and yelling. All right, what's next? Duck. You want to snap? All right, put your hands there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and of course, you don't want to be too sweet to you. Sorry. That's a boy that needs to turn into a man. You know what I'm saying? Fight, fight. Fight, fight? Yeah, if I, if I slack him, he won't fight me back. Oh, bucks. If you put your hands on him, you tell his face, he won't hit you. Okay. 
And when you became a father, like how was that feeling? Like how up old were you when you? I was 19. 19. I'm gonna break it down to y'all because I'm a real nigga. So when I, my, my baby mama first had my son, I wasn't there for about nine months. We got back together. Broke up again. Got back together when he was about one and a half. I mean, I was there all his birthdays and all that. And then, what are you saying right now? When he turned three, I moved into South Carolina. So we was all down there for about four years. I just moved back up here like two months ago. So, yeah, but it's, it's parents and what hard for me, but it was hard because the way I grew up, my father is real live, like the type of nigga, like he disciplined you, like discipline you, like really whoop your ass, like. Yeah, so it wasn't really like, it was hard for me not to whip my son ass, like, <laughs> like I'm gonna keep it facts, like, I like I, I, like a lot, of, a lot of parents can just talk to their kids. I talk to my child as if he's a man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Shawty, look here, come here, let me holler at you. Let me <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck we got going on here. Teacher to call me six times. That's 12 body shots. My no, fuck that bill. I've been getting my body snapped since I was five. That shit barred. I've been getting slapped around the room, like, left to right. <laughs> so, my son is real loud, like one of the type dudes. He kind of like sturdy type shit, so. I don't really gotta worry about him as much now. Like, when he was younger though, I couldn't. I, it was hard for me to whoop him when he was younger. But when he turned about five, I could really whoop him. And now his mother would really just crush him. But me, <laughs> yeah, she crush him. She ain't playing. Yeah, but me, I, 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 as a father, I was, I was happy though when I first seen him. But I ain't never seen, I ain't never seen him for nine months. Cause mm -hmm. I got locked up in Savannah, coming from Miami, doing some goofy shit, and I got locked up in Savannah, Georgia. Did a couple months out there, came home and I seen him. And then when I seen him, I was geeking. He looked like he was a job like a twin. So I was geeking. And then, I ain't gonna hold you. Got caught up in some legs. It was some torch. <laughs> so I had that. I got caught up. But then we had broke up. Because she, I mean, I don't really, I ain't the type of the dude that, I, my son is the only person I really like. Love, like, really got honest. Look, my father is a whole, like, whole, like, yeah. My was so when I grew up, old. it was just females as niggas, and, and some females niggas was niggas. Like, it was what it was. Like, I, it, so when it comes to females, I don't really be geeking. My baby mom was the only one I really geek geeked about. So that's the only person I've been like. I've been talking to her for 10 years. Before 16, shit, you already knew what it was, but. Before that, like my son, I went to my son, he made me do down. Like my son is real bad, but made me humble myself with doing. Okay. But you back lagging on Back I'm back I'm back I'm back on the stroke. the jersey back on. I ain't really back to my twenty one age. You know what I'm, saying? I'm almost thirty, I'm twenty six, I got four to go. That four go that four gonna back door me real quick, but I'll be there with my, my club car real soon. Mm -hmm. I'm ready I'm ready to get the fuck there. Fuck what they talking about. I went to a little, a little party at 25 and over job when I was 21. I said, I ain't never seen this many loafs in. I said, she got three kids. Now she ain't had nothing yet. Where's she from? Right up the toe. But <laughs> to say that though, I'm definitely, it ain't that I, I at this point I'm not looking for a girlfriend because the type of, what I'm, what I'm doing right now, right. it ain't going to work. Like, okay. The time she going to want from me, I can't get you. I mean, we can go out and all that, but you want all this love. I can only love my comedy and my child right now. That's, that's honesty. That's, that's pure honesty. That's honesty. how I feel. I mean, and I don't want her to buy feelings. Facts. <laughs> OG. Yeah, it, it, that's my biggest issue. Like, I was with my my son mother when I had the the, the clout in comedy. It's this comedy club, mm -hmm. and it was so hard to stay down. The nigga did. Well, really, well, I, mean, I ain't gonna hold you. Well, well, well me, and my, uh, me and my son mama broke up because I had a show. I'm gonna keep the name disclosed that I had a female that was there. She's tough. Hey, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> is, though. Yeah. But I took a picture with her. And I tried, like, we tried, like, was dead with it. Like, was you, you thought we was gonna date. I was hit. You know, I was feeling myself that night. I did a good job. You know, she was loving it. I was bullshit. I ain't gonna hold you. But. 
took the picture, woo, 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 and when my baby mama got it, woo, 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 then she, she ended up, you know, she got my password to my phone, my Instagram, so she never been on my Instagram before, so she went on my Instagram, went to my DM, shit went all the way downhill from me. Oh, fuck, baby. But it wasn't nothing in my DM. But I, I was in South Carolina, so I, I wasn't like fucking on You see what I'm saying? Like, but it just was the point. Like it was so many females reaching out. I wasn't even writing them back. I just sent emojis back. Like females would send me all types of goofy shit. Like I would respond to some of them because some of them I respond to. Well, you'd be like, come on, mo. like look at it. You look at her. Like, like, <laughs> like. So, so, like, I don't know what to say, like, that's just how it was, but I, I know, I'm like, man, I ain't hit her, so, but it got to the point where I came back in, she was still there, so she think I was busting, I wasn't busting, on my son, I wasn't busting, I wasn't on my son, but when we broke up, kind of linked up, I mean, hey, I was, hey, baby girl, hey, 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 you know, I, hey, I mean, see, I left, the, I left the DM on, on scene, it's yeah. fine, it's fine. The number was already in there. She, it was a rocking number. She got to call the people. It just was a horrible. But we cool now. We yeah, got to settle. That's it. So you're able to co-parent and. Yeah, she she still call me a hoe. You know, a lot of violence shit with her. <laughs> but it's all good now. I'm back on the prowl. I'm 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 not, I, I, I'm being honest to me now in the comedy. Like for real, for real, I just, if it ain't about my son or well, comedy, I'm. This scary territory though because that's talk about, you know, what's going on today, okay. the, the Kevin Hart situation. His man, I don't know how the tape came about and how JT got it and decided to try to extort, but, you know, you might find, once you blow up, you know what I'm saying, and really get where you're trying to get to, you might be in them situations, because you, like, you know, you, you let it or not. And yeah, we, do, you, do, do you, you know, does that scare you a little bit? Like, I'm seeing not, what's no. happening to comedians, I mean, you know, it's happening to other people, but right. essentially right now with this subject, if, if it's perfectly, it's happening to a comedian who has, you know, attained a certain level of success and his own man was trying to get a bag from him, you know what I'm saying, caught him legging right. or whatever, like, you knowing that you, you know. You I just how it go with me, me and Kevin Hart two different necks. Mm -hmm. This is how this is gonna go. You're not about to back door me. We ain't gonna worry about that. We're gonna leave our ID. Okay. But it can get it can go back. I'm a nigga who don't care. Okay. I'm not ashamed, but you gonna put me out there for hitting a, a female that's that, that that look good. That's fine. Put it out there. Let them know I'm lagging for real. I don't got no girl. But he did, that's what I'm saying. So even if I did see, I don't I don't play them games. Okay. I'm not about to be in a relationship and, 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 like a deep relationship. And Jeffrey. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say I ain't never cheated. Yeah. I ain't gonna say I ain't never cheated. I ain't gonna hold you. My younger years. But you're not so if you were making it adds a little weight. But I ain't making married. a relationship with these niggas. And I ain't married none of that. I am not planning on getting married until never. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. But I do. In fact, I've been in a relationship now and cheated. That's fine. But it never got to the point where the other female felt like she was that entitled. Okay. And I never had a man that was there. Like, if we flipping, we flipping. You see what I'm saying? Nigga, put your phone up. We ain't with all that freak shit. You ain't trying to call dingalings. We flipping, we flipping. But but I ain't never had to get backdoor by one of my men or something like that. Like, I wouldn't put myself in that predicament. Like, if I'm a, if I'm a cheat, I'm gonna cheat on my, like, on some sneaky shit. That's why it's called yeah. cheating. No when did that, when did cheating become the fuck something else? I thought you cheat, the, the key of cheating, you nigga, you was sneaky. That's how you right. got through the cheat. Right, right, yeah, right. You don't know how to cheat. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like, alright, I'm, I'm gonna get some, give these niggas some game. Give them some game, fool. I ain't wanna give them too much. Give, them, give it all, though, because I know you fellas, got it. Fellas, if you cheating, uh -huh. and you, you know your girl got your password, and you leave your phone now. Right. You know it's a chance whatever bitches you fucking with can text your phone. Mm. Mm. Out of them bitches, you gotta single it down to the bitch that's gonna text the most. Yeah. Now, yeah. when you realize which bitch or which female that is, or whatever new, whatever females, you gotta cook up a lie before you even get back to your phone, because it's a chance that she has already seen your phone. So now. <laughs> 
You mm. come in prepared. This is game. I hope you're right. You come in prepared. Because <laughs> now when she hits you with the, oh shit, you walk into the room like that. Kimberly tells me. Who the fuck is Kimberly? Oh, Kimberly is just. <laughs> You're 10 steps ahead, bro. Y'all niggas be acting stupid. Yeah. You leave your phone out, and then you forget you got your phone out, or you fall asleep with your phone unlocked, and then you just get caught bullshit. You gotta have them fake sisters on standby. All the motherfuckers, they be like, hey, brother. Hey, sis. <laughs> oh, Keisha. Say your sister used your phone. Hey, your sister back door. Oh, I'm about to call Keisha right now from my man phone. Boom. You through the door. Or have a good man at your girl, no a whore. He a straight whore. Shit, this one is no bribe. That's what I'm saving right there. Because I don't know who to text back. You know, I don't save numbers. Boom, you in the door. You got to know how to maneuver. See me? Right. I got out of the game for a little while because I needed to raise my son. Ha! Back. I've been out of the game. Yeah, he, 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 he out of the game. I'm back here. I've been out of the game. I'm nice shape. I'm out, I, I was just out the game. It's a perfect I just, contrast. I right just now. I just got tired of the game, so I just I just hopped out. You know what I'm saying? That probably be back. I, I, I done now. hit, you know, a couple females that might be on the timeline, but you'll never know. See, I ain't. I, I, so I'm the type of dick I like. You know, I did. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't run my mouth. So you know, know, I, I think you're the remember. best dick. Like, that's not supposed to be though. Yeah. I never Which I say bar, like bar. Yeah. Like that's that means that's what I'm saying. Right? It's I'm gonna, gonna be somebody in the group chat. Nah, we and know. We won't acknowledge it. And this sure. shit, that's why I'm laughing because this shit we have already bar. Yeah, it's just has been bar. Like, but it already be bar. Like, you know what this is, bro? Oh yeah, I done. Oh, you did. Was it torch? Was it torch? Oh my I, mama! Say less! I bet. I'm doing it! Oh, we'll see if I. Me and Loso got the same fuck thing. somebody in the group chat, since I know who might possibly be, I got to make sure so, because when they throw mine in there, I need to, I wanted to come back with flames, like, yeah, you gotta be, all up and down. Yeah, that emojis, because don't get that motherfucker thumbs down with the face niggas and be like, <laughs> <laughs> that joke? <laughs> You get that emoji? Ah. Uh, like I'm following the night. I'm following. We got a blocker, motherfucker. Man. <laughs> I don't like the way she moves. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Loso, me and Loso had this, uh, a very similar situation. Damn Female, sweet. of course, I'm not gonna say her name, but I hit numerous, numerous times, several times. Yeah, occasionally. And she started messing with him, but she started hopping on his line. He approached, I guess she told her, told him about us. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, yeah, I don't told you. But, that's how it be though. You know what I'm saying? That's how it really be, because I called him on yeah. FaceTime one time. I called a little John on FaceTime. My man already, you know. But I did not have this get, though. I mean, no, he ain't leg. Right. He ain't leg though. No, I, no, by, no. By, no. By, by choice, I just... Yeah. You know, sometimes you just, it's just the good not the food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We both ain't leg. We both ain't leg. Okay. Could have. We don't lie on that. Could, yeah, we it, it's, it's stamped though. It, it, it could have barred. Like, yeah, that several, was, several, several occasions. Yeah, that's but nothing. It's just like, but it was too, sometimes, too like, easy. That's, yeah. it, it's too easy sometimes. It's too like, easy, and it's just like, some females be thinking they better than what they are. Yeah, that's what really throw me off. And it's just like, you're not about to get this bomb ass dick. You already think yeah, shit. yeah, I mean, you want a long bitch and you ain't nothing but a step. <laughs> yeah, bitch, we we we, we That's trying to get long we shit. trying to get we trying to get right out here. Fuck! If I gotta lay the wood, I need a benefit from them. I, I look I at you, baby. When I roll I on at night, tight. I really benefit. I roll up and look at you, man. This little ass is my fucking uh. That just gave Dirty me joke. fever because that's law by male standards. If I was a man, I'd be like, man, that's not, but that is though. That's law. That's Real right. shit from a female. That was, that was it. I, I just can't give you a law if you a stem. Yeah. Come on, baby. That, 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 that. We lumberjacking over here. That's a jewel right there. We just dropped. We, we, I had to drop a little nars on the white right quick. Is that lumberjacking? Lumberjack. You hear me? Straight Red back. Black, with the, head the nigga that comes to the, the house, house visits. Seven oh, fives. You know what I'm talking about, baby. Right. <laughs> yeah, chopping down trees. Chopping down trees. We play no games. Down. A lot of females, that's what they think. See, people think in the comedy world, it's more 
it's so much more easier to get. Yes, I was gonna say the rappers like they gotta have all that jewelry and all that shit. Funny, I come, the right out there. So if I come out like, like funny and high you got good swag. Yes, that's a rap. That's it. And then you go ahead. And then at the end of the day, you're on man time. Facts. All the time. All the time. Come business. You know, no bad blood out there about you. Like, Face card good. Niggas ain't, yeah, niggas ain't pulling up no Face type of good. info on us. Nobody in our group. There's no type of nothing you're pulling up. There's no type of, well, I heard this about it. Nope, no, you did. Where? We all still good in all our hoods. Facts. I'm some good. niggas can't even come. Some niggas. Yeah. I'm good on the Oxen Hill and the whole South side. I get love I'm and I get so much love though. from the city. It's just hot. Yeah, and I'm a Merlin nigga. Shout That's what threw me off, yeah, bro. Yeah, I just like it endless love. I get Merlin love. Laughter Merlin. brings people together. Like a joke will bring a whole room of people together. That but I show love too though. Like I'm dude, really when I first met so <laughs> funny. I'm at an event, I see Powder, that at this point we'd already had a rapport, so I, you know, we hugged in and I look over and I see you. I never met you. I just yeah, followed you, you on the So I'm like, is that baby reference? So he like, he like, uh, oh yeah, that's it. So he looking at me like, what the fuck is this big ass, what the fuck? Yeah, like, oh, yeah. So I'm like, I'm fanning out because I'm like legit. So I'm like, oh my God. So when I turn around, you're right there. So my face, and you looking at me like, what the fuck? Yeah, cause I, when people do that, I really be like, like when people do that in the stores, like I could be anywhere. People like, look at me, I really walk up to you. What's up, mom? Before you say, yeah, that's me on Instagram. What's up with you? You all right? Yeah, I wonder. It's all right, man. What's up? You all right? Shout out to E.M. Jazz Stop. I ain't gonna lie, I wait. See, yeah. I don't, I don't be Same with you, though. Well, I met you. I was, you. We were sitting right next to I'll each be, other I'll, I'll be in oh. an event that Lambo had thrown. And... You were sitting right there, I was sitting right here, and we just happened to look over at the same time. I was like, oh shit, like this, he like sitting right here next to me because I was a fan of you. So it was just like, I'm legit a fan. So it seems like I just met Martin or I just ran to Dave Chappelle and I'm just like randomly yeah. sitting. Somebody I'm, told me that recently. I'm dead ass serious. I don't just say shit to say it, nigga. Yeah, people be, nah, nah. This was I'm niggas saying, saying that. Some yeah, niggas, it be, and that's funny. More niggas, niggas be saying niggas that. Say, yeah, niggas say real yeah. shit. That, that builds. I think that builds the most, the most confidence because it's like it's it takes a lot when more niggas to respect yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Niggas always hate, but yeah, yeah. but when a nigga like yeah, bro, listen, woo, 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 woo. look you in your eye, this, that, and third, you gonna make it. That shit is boosting confidence, cause man, man respect man. That's fact. And when bro. a nigga got the got the respect and can put his pride to the side to tell you some good shit, you gotta respect that. That shit. That's, 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 take the ultimate, that's the ultimate way. I respect hat. how like humble and down to earth both of you all oh, are with yeah. your following and what you That's why we get along so much. Right. A lot of people yeah. they attain this little like social media success or even career success and they lose the comment like just being a regular person and it's like you can you don't even know if you can approach them. You don't know if I can say hi or get a hug or get a picture. Like the fact that the time that I met both of y'all, y'all was like super down to earth, like, oh, what's up? Like, when I said I wanted to bring you both on the show, y'all were like, man, yeah, set that shit like, I, in my mind, thinking that people at what I feel is your level of success at this point for what you're doing, are some, come off sometimes like, oh, nah, I ain't, uh, like, I don't do that type of shit, or I don't want to, or I don't, I ain't never heard of your show, or, like, so I really appreciate you all taking the time out to really come and, and being so humble, like, how do you maintain and remain it because right now I know a lot of people come up to y'all wanna take pictures, wanna like how do you it's just like I'm here with you though. Like nigga. I live nigga I live down the I tell niggas like bruh. I live down the street from you um like my nigga I'm not no better than you. I'm just funnier than you. That's a bad I'm I'm just making my everybody got a passion, everybody got a dream. I'm just making what I do the best of what I do. Like that's just what it is. Like I'm nigga, I'm not no better than you, nigga. I catch the train too, huh? It's like nigga, I catch Uber, nigga. I don't. So I don't want to want you to feel like I'm above you. I don't, I'm not above nobody. Like we all men. I respect man for man, bro. Nigga, I, 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 if I see you in the streets, you want to take a picture? Fuck, I'm gonna charge you to take a picture, or, bro. Who am I to do that? It's like, bro, see, I, I was just you. That, though. Yeah, why would I say no, nigga? That's like I don't never really? like. Just last, last, like a week or two ago, I'm dropping somebody off at Kip because I do lift. 
Bro, I ain't say nothing. The whole ride. Picked him up from, from, uh, from India Head. Dropped him off to Kip right there. Bro, get out the car. Hey, Pat, can you take a picture? Yeah, of course. And every time I take pictures, is that good? You need more? Facts. I know how that should be because I take pictures. Yeah, I, right. take, I like, do videos on this. You got to understand, no matter how many followers you got, you still human. Right. You still a uh, regular person and you still... You owe that to them though. Yeah, you, I used to not have these followers. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So you following like, me, old T. That's, I got I tell them, yeah, you follow so it. So it's just like, I gotta respect you, you know what I'm saying? I and mean, not even just respect, but it's just like, we people. I appreciate we, you. We all together in this, because without the support from the fans, your movement don't move. That's facts. That's facts. I wanted to be like Atlanta, and Atlanta got it together. Right, the unity that they have down there. They worst rapper, crazy. like how, they worst rapper is on, you see what I'm saying? All, like, and every rapper is getting paid in Atlanta. Every rapper has one. And they all relate to somehow. All them niggas cousins. But it's just like, you know, with the, the DMV comedy scene, we're slowly but surely making, you know, making it that that comeback and everything what it is. So not even just us, but the OAs in the game, you know what I'm saying? Whoever's in the comedy game in the DMV, you know. Well, I know y'all are both on time. You got a show and you got a cookout. He trying to get a glizzy, y'all. So I'm going to let him run and get his glizzy. But before, what do you I say, want... Babe? Slide, 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 slide style. style. You got to turn it. Baby, you got to bite in the corner. I watch. Before you turn it, though, this is what you got to do. When you got that glizzy, we don't do 12 foot jog, 12 inch jog. You get caught with a 12 inch. Ain't no nothing. Ain't no cutting in the sixes, nigga. We three full way in it. Boom, 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 boom. Slide of style. Left corner first. How the white man would bite it. Uh, 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 uh. Because <laughs> if you go diving in that glizzy, you sussy. You sussy. It's man, I feel so sussy. Fuck. Hey, good. I when I heard, I was <laughs> dog. I was, I was <laughs> right there with the baby. I was right there. You know, you and you, you know what the latest one? You made it up. The fucking Tyrone Hankerson. Oh. When I, so I said it to Burn. my mother, that shit had me the fuck. I think yeah, that's one thing that's famous while here is like when oh. shit happens in the, when shit happens in the world, it's like I I jump on. I don't waste no time. You didn't, cause I promise you, I, I watched that shit so many motherfucking times. Come on, I'm tearing up now how much you had me crying laughing. I shit. called my it's crazy cause my man finesse hit me and was like, bro, you need to do a skit. And I was like, I was already thinking, I was just gonna do one of them ranks. Like you know, no, but I said, bro, you got a mini jump? <laughs> she was like, no. Nah. Ten minutes later, oh, yeah, I do got one. Oh, yeah, for one, I'm on my way. I was out my fucking uh, law. Drove all the way out Clinton. Made that video. When it come to, when it come to shit, when it come to this comedy shit. Oh, uh, yeah, we be, we, be driving, driving, we, be, we be driving our water off. We be driving, like, Man, y'all was in the woods and shit and all of that. Yeah, yeah, we take it to extra limit. But what I wanted to ask both of y'all to do before you go, so... I'm gonna give you this one scenario and y'all both have to do your thing. Giving your son the speech of, the, no, I'm gonna give you two. Either the birds and the bees of, of having sex or when he starts masturbating. Like, how are you gonna. How you about pick this? Which how, one about, how about we both grab one? Because he can do what okay. I can do. I'm gonna say, because I, I ain't had no father and ain't nobody tell me I'd be magical my own. Alright, uh, he got down. Let's say less. Okay, so. You having to talk with your son about masturbation and you the first time or just having sex and you right. catch him having sex, however you want to do it. Who want to go first? I go first as well. You always want to be first. Yeah, you Ooh, you go it. away. I grew him up for a little while. <laughs> we all, like, you know, if it was my son about the birds and the bees, you know, you know, his first time doing this little thingy thingy thing, you know, first of all, we got to strap up. I know you got a little dangling, so go get you a little Trojan lifestyle. I, I understand. You ain't got a log just yet. The log ain't got logish. You still a little, you still a little, little, little stem. But throw a hat on that. From there, I'm a nasty nigga, so I gotta get deep into it. If you eat, depending on the age, yeah. all right. You know, we gonna get deep into it. If he started at 12, you can't eat the pussy just yet. 
Not, yeah, yeah, I hopped off the porch. I got, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that one because it don't count. I hopped off the porch at 12, basically. So, 12. Boom. You, they don't need to be eating no Dirt, pussy yet. Yeah, that's you don't know nothing about that yet. You know, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. You know, you do a little pluggy. You know, <laughs> you know suck a little titty here and there. You know, do your thing. Ninth grade. Time to talk. Let you young niggas know now. It's time to talk. I'm gonna tell them to look, baby. Look. When you get to ninth grade, that's when you start eating that pussy. You test it first. Do the sniff test. You gotta throw that thing down there. Get you a swipe. You, and you gotta do it on a low one of them. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, oh, oh. If she tried to backdoor you, you have a good ass excuse the whole time. Damn. I gotta go to football practice. You out the door. Cause around that time, you only fucking around 5 to 7. Or from around 9 30 that morning, that fresh out the shower pussy before school. You have to when you really want. That 9 30 to 12 coach. It ain't been through the it ain't been through the day that much. Okay. You see okay. what I'm saying? Okay. It, it ain't made okay. it through the day. Okay. I'm gonna tell them okay. that look. Okay. You gotta go to 9 30 to 12, man. That's high school days. Okay. That's a, you know, we, we talk about birds. I get it. I'm get gonna it. tell them I'm look. with you. I'm with you. 9 30 to 12. It's fresh at that time. After that, she gonna have to tame it a little bit. Baby she white. Around. She might have yeah, gym, she gym, have, all she that. Make sure you got a rag and a towel there. We'll make sure. That thing is fresh. If you're gonna go diving, you can dive in face first. It's alright. But you have the test is a must. Test I'm gonna tell them this here. If, if that thing don't smell right, you have to vacate. You have to disperse. Because there's no need to be there. She's not right. I don't care how long the day is. Any female that's ready to have sex, you need to you, don't come to me. Like we about to go to the gym. I, you, I need you to be lingerie ready. I'm just saying. I'm gonna tell them straight up that look. If she stink, don't fuck with her. Always wear a helmet. Don't eat no pussy till ninth grade. Okay. And if you're gonna do it, do it right. Okay. You know I'm gonna tell them the bird. I'm, I, I, I'm I put the key on it. All that lip licking ain't, ain't gonna work for you. You need to get to the butt. Go ahead, and get there. So you don't gotta be there that long. She gonna make you leave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These young niggas don't understand that. I, I know a little something, you know. I, I just try to tell them in my story that I'm they missing it. They are the fuck missing yeah, it. Yeah, but they, they lip licking. It's all right. That's a little. That's cute. It's cute. They don't watch a little Childish. porn. I'm gonna get them on the porn too, ninth grade. It's oh. fine. Y'all can judge me. No, don't. Every don't young man needs porn. porn. Yes. We grew up on all that ass. I had value on one through about sixty-seven. I think my father had all of them. Yeah, I, I yeah, borrowed them from him. My uncle porn collection. Girl. And my uncle, I said, what the fuck? Cherokee is, is my black booties for. I was like, oh, it was, it was on the carpet. Yeah, you enjoyed it? I still enjoy it. So I just that pulling my yeah. boots mostly. What? Hey, <laughs> they don't understand that, 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 that. That's what I'm to like. They don't so, understand. So finger test. Finger finger test. Don't. Always wear a helmet. Always wear a helmet. And, and don't, don't eat the, the pussy, pussy before ninth grade. If you're going to do it, do it right. All right. Don't waste your time. And key points. Amen. Masturbation. Now, I'm a serial masturbator. So, I need, I want to hear what you would tell your child if, sure. let's say, he was one and he, he's always. <laughs> You find the towels, they all, you, you starting to put two and two together, you know something's going on, you don't know why all the towels are missing, why when you find them they attach to each other and shit, like, you know what you, like, what do you, what's the description on this towel, exactly. son? Exactly. Me, I'll let you, first of all, go wash this shit before I fuck you up. That's nice. Yeah, you just, just sit it down like, so you beating your dick. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to deny it. Of course, no. I'm not, I don't beat my dick. I don't beat my dick. Oh. Is you a Vaseline, baby, or a lotion type nigga? See, I'm I'm straight Palmolina. Oh, this <laughs> nigga raw dog. Oh. Oh so shit, that's easy. a quick that session. Mean got a juice. <laughs> that means you go <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> No it's the shot. Hey, hurry with it. Like that shit. That's you need to be in the yeah. stock. Class jump. He only need a, a squirt. You gotta think though. When you start off, you got the pre cum. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just slide it across the thumb. Right. Okay. Just, you're right. Just paint. You know what I'm saying? Just paint a little bit. Paint over. Get the roll up right. There you go. You know, you, you don't see motherfuckers put barbecue sauce on the ribs before they. 
Yeah. Before they really do what they need to do. Hey, so right. okay. That's that's neither here nor there. Right. No, it's here and there, but I was just <laughs> and there and everywhere else, I know. But my, <laughs> But no, nah, I'm basically because how I started, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. So when I was doing it, I wasn't going to come. I was okay. going until I got tired. And then just was like, I'm just going to sleep. Going down. One day, <laughs> one day I just was doing that shit, and it was just this this sensation. What hand would I use? Huh? The left hand you're not using. I'm a right hander, so I might have to come with the left stroke. <laughs> Boom, but to give you that that extra jab, like like she riding it for the for the extra throw, but then hold it. So I guess <laughs> yeah, that's about you gotta get motion. That motion though, I, I, my hand a little too rough. See my shit, ain't no beating that. That shit gonna come peeled immediately. Three minutes in, that shit coming off. So I need <laughs> I need some motion. Yeah, that shit gonna come off. 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 I'm just saying. I was keeping it real. These hands are too rough to be just beating raw. <laughs> These motherfuckers been cutting grass for too long <laughs> to just be out there. I think I got soft ass hands, so it's just like, no, I got beat this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got beat this. Yeah, he got beat dicks. I got grab wood. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my shit a little on the hot. Catch your football. <laughs> Shit, you. Okay. Well, like I said, I have literally had a comedic gangbang in my bed today for the first time ever, yeah. and I appreciate it being two of my top five comedians in the game. Okay. Davey and Pat. Yeah. Sides and shit, you know. All that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This glee, glee. He keeps saying burger. He really mean glizzy. Remember Shout the side corner like boom me. with the. But I appreciate you all coming out. Definitely I keep up with their too. respective movements. How can they follow? And yeah, uh, all social media at a y y e underscore p a p. That's at a y y e underscore p a p. All social media. The nigga with the sideburns, David Ruffin. Not David, like D a v i d d d a v y r u f f i n. Davey Ruffin. Like Leon, but I'm Davey, baby. I'm Davey Ruffin. All social media. They ain't come at Davey Ruffin. Hey, that's my they ain't come see movie, you. Yeah, I love that hey, that's my shit. I'm a little Eddie Kane ish, too. You're a little Eddie Kane ish. With the motherfucker suit. Nights no, like this. Ah, you can't. You want my spot flash? Uh, you want okay. a riff like me? Oh, yeah, you on the movies? You know that's my I movie. see you. Mom, but. What's you are now in front of the show, so this ain't gonna be the last time right. that y'all on here. But right. thank you again. It's Carmen Kush, Kush and Combo, A-Pop, Baby, and we out, y'all.